this is uh, suction valve for uh, fuel pump and you can now see how to dismantle or how to overall this suction valve so this kind of suction valve is very easy to dismantle just you have to press the cone when you press the cone you can see the conical ring which is actually a split ring you can see two different conical ring and two pieces of conical ring which you need to take it out once you take out that you can remove the cone after that you can remove the piston means spring and then you can remove the spindle so this is how you have to dismantle the suction valve of fuel pump so what are all the things that you need to see you just see the fuel holes and you have to see the surface of uh, spindle mating and again the seat where the spindle seats so now uh, after dismantling this you have to clean the spare parts which uh, clean diesel after cleaning you have to do lapping for the mating surface so you can use a very fine lapping paste and keep on the spindle surface and you can see that I am using the very very fine lapping paste and just you need to do the lapping for the seating area so the idea to do the lapping is in case if there is any scoring mark or a pitting mark available which is in the seat or uh, your spindle it can remove it after uh, doing the lapping you can again inspect the mating surface and if you find it is the scoring mark is removed then you can do the leak test and go ahead for boxing up if you couldn't able to remove the pitting mark or scoring mark in case if it is very deep then it is time to discard the spare and you have to use the new one so I did the lapping now I will clean the area and I will inspect both the seat and spindle then I can then finalize whether I can use it or not so this is uh, you can see while I do the lapping the entire surface is covered so now I'm going to clean so use a very smooth cotton rags and clean both the surface and and examine closely so that any of the score mark which is visible is gone or not I am using the cleaner to remove the dirt and while you are inspecting the spring just make a visual examination and just press and see look for the height compare with the new springs so that you can check the elongation of the spring so it has been already shown in my old videos so that I don't want to show the spring elongation checkness and that's all now I'm just blowing air so that any dirt which is inside the body is removed blow air to all the spares spindle cone conical spring and spring so after doing this cleaning it's time to box up boxing up is also very simple for this kind of suction valve so first you insert the spindle just give you a coat of lube oil so that it will help to pass the slot so the spindle is in place and you can just move do the movement check then fix the spring then go fit the cone and to lock the cone you have to fit the conical piece so this conical piece has to fix with the slot now you can see the spring don't come out and you can just check the movement so now next what we need to do is we have to do the leak check how you do the leak check you just 
fill some lube oil in the slot and keep it for uh, half an hour there should not be oil coming out from the surface so i think this video must have given you some idea about how to dismantle overall and assemble the suction wall thank you all thanks for watching